five seconds before I start talking <laughs> because it doesn't capture it all. I don't understand why. And maybe there's a setting where I can, you know, it just seems like as soon as you click stream, it should capture it all. You'd think so. You would think. I'm going to turn this off. Or maybe I'll just turn it down. Either way. But different than what it <laughs> currently is. Yes, it's yes. It's a little loud. So anyway, while we're waiting on people, we're going to do various administrative things. Like I want to check the news real quick. I haven't seen it all day. Busy. I'll check Huey Lewis while you're doing that. <laughs> okay. And, you know, it takes you guys a while. And there are all these chess streamers right now. Plus the, the chess skilling. event. Yeah. So, I mean, we're not going to get a lot of people anyway. The well, skilling will end in like half an hour or less. Yeah. So, so the, people will come over after that hangout. I agree with that. On our cool channel. Totally. Let me click I that. was watching that Laco commentary. I love it. Yeah. I love Laco. His, I, you know, I can warm up, warm up to his voice. Um, for sure, and um, it, it was funny because it, uh, who was it that was talking to him? Maybe it was Tanya the other day, but, but he needs to get on Twitter and that Cramnick yes, is yes, finally yes. on Twitter. Mm -hmm. and he was agreeing that maybe... I saw that, yeah. Oh, you did? He yeah. was so cute, kind of. <laughs> yeah. he, he's just humble. Like, well, I don't have any excuse now, I yeah, guess. Yeah, yeah, that is what he said. Yeah. I did like that. Okay, so maybe you won me over a little bit. The voice is still a little... Mousy uh, you'll and get strange. used to it. Come it's on. Ma ma it's mousy and strange. His analysis is so good, it's worth it. Well, and he's really sweet. Mm -hmm. and that was so quaint and cute. And like, oh, about the Twitter. Mm -hmm. Then later, I wish I could remember now what the cultural reference was that he made that made me, that cracked me up because I felt for sure he didn't even know what he was referencing. But now <laughs> yeah. I can't remember what it was. Darn. I just like, what? Say what? Um, he is, uh, you know, he's from Hungary. Mm -hmm. He was obviously, he was Hungary's number one for a long time. So I don't know, maybe it was a Hungarian sort of reference too. Mm -hmm. It's possible. <laughs> yeah, I can't remember Something now. that they like in Hungary. Still nobody, you know, wanting to admit they're on the stream. <laughs> 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 Might have yes. a lurker or two. Right. Um, so I'm not going to worry about it. You guys, you want to miss the party, miss the party. Mm -hmm. What I'm going to do right at this moment is look at CNN. That's what I want to do. That's oh, some I'm fake doing. news. Good. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to, I haven't seen the news all day. And, you know, hey, plain true. We're just hanging out for a minute. There's this, that big chess shilling event going on. And lots of streaming. And we're here and we're not in a huge hurry to start at the moment. But we are going to start soon with the um, puzzles. Hey, Lukey Pookie and the normal stuff that we do. Let's see. Key lines from Biden's unveiling. I don't care about that. It's kind of weird that uh, Biden picks all these people who aren't in his family. Isn't that weird? <laughs> it's <laughs> <No>. like crazy. <laughs> How's it going, Scottish Demon Goat and Speckner? Hey, Goat. Hey, Speckner. No, I was just catching up on <laughs> the news checking. real quick. Yeah. Because I hadn't seen it all day. I like to check it. They started the transition finally. Though. I did see that, yeah. So. Even though Trump still says that he can win. Mm hmm. Well, I guess we'll start transition anyway. Let's see. Doesn't really look like. Hey, it's Ken. How's it going, Ken? Anything new? And Pillowy hey, Rocket. Hey, guys. Hey, Ken. Uh, hey, Pillowy Rocket. <laughs> We're just waiting to see, you know, if we can get a few people here. We've got the shilling going on. And uh, lots of streamers. You say shilling? Is it shilling or oh, skilling? I, yeah, I thought it, it was is skilling. skilling. It's skilling. But I thought maybe it was pronounced that way. No, I, I it's skilling. <laughs> I just slipped. Skilling is a weird word. That's true. 74, hey. And Joa. Joa. Nice. The usual suspects. Puzzles, yay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I wonder if we should start. Let's see. Maybe I should play somebody because that's kind Yeah, of why don't you guys... Uh, Send Karen a challenge, yeah. five minute or three minute, rated or unrated. Yeah, let me just play. We'll get that going. If you're too lazy to go to chess.com and figure all that out, you can also try Xclam Challenge in the chat. Mm -hmm. Oh, what camera do we use? Let me answer that. Logitech Brio. Yeah, there's a webcam. Um, 
shortage, really. The mm-hmm. global web. <laughs> when I got ready to start streaming again late last uh, spring, I wanted to get a new camera and upgrade Ben's. And um, that's when I discovered there was a webcam shortage and microphone shortage from all the people telecommuting mm-hmm. during COVID. <laughs> so I ended up getting our cameras off um, eBay, as you might recall. And I had to pay. I do recall. Um, I had to drive to your house and oh, yeah. pick them up because you were out of town oh, yeah. and it was raining. <laughs> <laughs> and the microphones, too. Got all of those through eBay. And so I had to pay slightly more. But anyway, let me find somebody. Looks like this shall be my first. First is the worst. Can you turn that yeah. like plus? Make it fitty. Yeah, that sounds good. Like my favorite amount of scent. Mm-hmm. Let's go an ice brick. Oh, it looks like we're playing pillowy rocket. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Oh, is this pillowy rocket? That's what he says. Mm. How's it going, Alt F4 Pro? Don't think I missed you there. I did not. Hey, Ice Brick, Alt F4 Pro. Let's see. Of Scottish demon goats betting on you. They're betting on me? <laughs> I don't know. Karen can always lose on time, though. So it's still a risky bet. <laughs> yeah. No doubt about that. Gwen <clears throat> Stefani about that. Mm-hmm. Pretty aggressive play today, huh? Um, <laughs> I guess Pretty so. aggressive. Somewhat, at least. Mm. Oh, yeah, yeah. How are you going to bet against the guy who plays B6? <laughs> how's it going, Kangaroo? Hey, Kangaroo. How's it going? Let's Opponent went for that double fianchetto, huh? Mm-hmm. Double up those fianchettos. I can respect that. <clears throat> I like a good double fianchetto myself. I'm partial to it. Yeah. Well, I don't usually play d5 on move one then, but, well, what are you going to do? Everybody's got their own style. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Your knight's so pretty ambitious, huh? Everybody else is just staying put. Yeah, he... <laughs> but he wants to get in there, get involved. <laughs> Probably need to get, you know, some other people moving around. Let's see. I mean, I'll just leave him there for a minute. You know, let him rest. <laughs> <laughs> He's done a lot so far. Two bishops about to else. Both sides have two bishops about to else, yes. Let's just make sure they block off my bishop and... <clears throat> She's really fine. Oh yeah, you're against the uh the Fianchetto Scottish demon goat. Well, it's gonna be. Why would you play B six then? You know. I remember reading a. It was like a book about Capablanca's games, and like the first book was um. It was talking about how. Capablanca had a position where he felt like he should play G three bishop G two at some point. But he didn't want to because it was like so weird to fianchetto your bishop at that point in chess history. So he didn't do it. Then later he analyzed the game and it was the right thing to do. And that's when he decided that he'll always just play what he thinks is best and not what other people might consider to be correct. It's pretty interesting. Two bishops about else. Mm-hmm. 
A little pawn sacrifice. I like it. <laughs> Is this the Queen's Gambit <laughs> that I've heard so much about? It doesn't get greedy. I can respect that, actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think you're correct, 74, 74. Oh, right, yes, you would have taken both pawns, exactly. He's got to grub those pawns. Who, Yasser? Yeah. Yeah. He's an old pawn grubber. Mm hmm. Hmm. Pin the tail on the donkey, huh? A respectable childhood game. Bender is really good at pin the tail on the donkey. Although it was like pin the tail on the the moon worm or something. Since he's a robot, he does it perfectly, you know. That's how it goes. So he'd really appreciate this. Mm-hmm. To your opponent forgetting about the time control, perhaps. Good. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I need a tissue. Oh yeah, you have an issue. Yeah. Can you grab one? Thanks, for me? Doric the cat, for five hundred bits. Happy birthday, Karen. He says. Where Thank are you. They? Are they um, good? wherever tissues are. Okay. Any clue? Do I mean they're in the club somewhere? Right. I didn't want to dig around in your purse. Oh, I don't have any in there. Thank you, whatever that noise was. Oh, it was Doric. Thank you, Doric. Oh, thank you. Yes. My birthday. <clears throat> there you are. Okay, thanks. Thank you. It's behind your phone in case you want more. All right. You got it, Scott, Scottish Demon Goat. I always love talking about Bender. I mean, he is great, after all. Mm-hmm. True. I like when Bender goes, I'm so embarrassed, I wish everyone except me was dead. <laughs> what? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Instead of I wish I was dead, I yeah. wish everyone except me was dead. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hey Pam, how's it going? Alright, let me just learn my name. Yeah, when it gets cold, I start kind of drain it. Okay, I'm back. Hi, House Art. How are you guys? Is that like House <laughs> MD? Darn, I'm gonna get forked right now. You gotta play faster. Okay. You both have a minute now. Well, he has a little more, a little extra. Maybe Pam meant to write hose instead of house. Like, what up, hose? Yeah, I did watch some house. Um, I mean, I like uh, Hugh Laurie, but the other actors were not great. Yeah, Hugh, Hugh Laurie is great, yeah. Did you ever watch uh, A Bit of Fry and Laurie? I love A Bit of Fry and Laurie. It's really good. It's very funny stuff. How's it going, Indo? Hmm. Got to get some pre-moves in here. Come on. All right. 
Not pre moving. Pre move. Pre move. You gotta pre move. Okay. Now you're pre moving. That's pre moving. I know, but I'm just not a very good pre mover. I mean, are you good at losing on time? Like, come on. Yeah, I'm very good at losing on time. <laughs> well, be better at pre moving. <laughs> there you go. Now this is good. Yeah. Great. I mean, I can't even tell where the pieces are. Perfect. <laughs> you're just gonna win now. If you keep this up, you're gonna win. Just be ready when the when if you make an illegal move. I mean, you gotta be ready like this. Move, come on, okay. pre move, pre move. There you go, pre move. Keep pre moving. You gotta be ready when your move's illegal to keep pre moving. All right. There it is. Yep, get that queen. There it is. Keep pre moving. Don't stop. Pre move, pre move. There it is. Pre move. There it is. Any one. On time. Easy win. <laughs> Sorry, BCM. Yeah, I would have lost if you hadn't. Said pre move at me every that. five seconds. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't do it. It's horrible. It just you goes, did it. You did I it. I know. It just goes against my grain because I don't even know what the moves are. Hey, MG Weird. <laughs> That's when you play your best when you don't know what the moves are. <laughs> well, if you know what the position is, no good. <laughs> <laughs> hey, MG <laughs> Weird. <laughs> Hey, Squire. I did it, but that was so hard. I, it's hard for me to move because you don't even know where you're moving. You don't know where you're moving. You're just yeah. kind of guessing. Well, All better right. to do that than lose on time. I need to play more of the 10 second test, and that's what it's like. It's just. Yeah. <laughs> so, I did it, but it's hard. It's hard for me to do that. So your opponent's playing poorly here. I mean, either he shouldn't go here and his bishop should be there, or he shouldn't have gone here. Mm -hmm. It just doesn't make sense to do both. Your bishop can't do two things. Only one thing. Yeah, now you're better here. This is a, a little bit aggressive. I mean, he should probably go here. Then he could just kick you away and you can't infiltrate. But instead he went here, where his knight's actually not great. Okay, now you can win material. All you gotta do is take the bishop, take the knight. Easy. It's removing the defender. Oh, yeah. That's not hard. <laughs> yeah. Well, here's the here's the thing that it should trigger al alarm bells. Mm -hmm. This is loose. It's attacked and defended once. Yeah. And this is loose. It's attacked and defended once. Also, by the way, he put his rook in the middle here. So if it was me, I'd be like, whoa, there's got to be tactics everywhere. You know, <laughs> he's got loose pieces everywhere and a rook lined up against my bishop. Yeah. Still could do the same tactic. Also, if he wants to avoid losing a piece, he has to defend this with his queen. So that when you take and he takes with the queen, it'll defend his knight. So queen d7, queen e7, bishop c8, all of those save material for him. Mm -hmm. And probably other moves too, but just for example. Yeah. Missed winning a piece this with what, knight too. That's oh, okay. exactly what he's talking oh, okay. about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So now you're better just because you have two bishops, but you missed that your pawn is hanging. I know. I saw it too late. <clears throat> and then he went back. I think I like that. I wouldn't take here and let you get counterplay in the dark squares. Mm -hmm. One extra pawn's enough to win. I don't need two. I just need to not give you counterplay. So I like bishop g7. That also, wasn't sure why he went back. Well, he didn't want you to play bishop e5 and get counterplay in the dark squares, which doesn't really exist, but... Mm. You know, could pretend mm -hmm. to somehow. Yeah, he just keeps his king safe. He won material, and he's threatening this too. B three was not correct in this position. I wouldn't give this up. Uh, it's not easy, so easy to defend because if you go here, he goes there. B three, knight c three is annoying. No, his knights are good. His knights are really mm -hmm. good. You might have to go here. It gives up the bishop pair, but. If he does trade the bishop, at least, you know, you still have one bishop, which is better than his knight in, in the long term. Yeah. Okay, now here you played this hanging the fork, but mm. he could, you could trade queens. So, oh no, then there's 92 intermezzo. So this does win. If you try to get out of the fork by trading queens, he gives you a check. Yeah. And now he won a piece. Instead, he went here. You stopped the fork because you totally saw it. And then he played bishop takes knight, which I don't really understand unless there is some threat I missed. 
I don't know. After knight c3, I can sack the queen. That's true. And you got to let him do this fork. Now here, <clears throat> he played this, and this is your patented move. I know. Your patented move. <laughs> and then you took with the rook missing it. Now you're losing. So here, to get out of the fork, all he has to do is check you, mm -hmm. and then take your. Instead, he hung his whole rook. <laughs> I mean, what? First of all, if you're going to hang something, hang the knight. If you're not going to see the check, go here to hang just the exchange. Mm -hmm. He did the worst thing you could possibly do, hanging the whole rook. I think we were both getting lower on time. I mean, he had over a minute. I don't think it was an excuse. But then the game dissolved into three moves, which you did and your opponent didn't do. So you won. Even though he had like... 40 seconds more than you near the end at some point. Yeah. Hey, Southern Chris. Thank you for the happy birthday wishes. Hey, Jim Benjamin. I know you were in time trouble, Pillowy. But you can't really Rocky. blame time trouble. I you start the that. game in time trouble. I you start the game in time trouble. I, I, the whole her. time it's time trouble. I accept that Pillowy rocket. <laughs> I do not accept. <laughs> um... One of the best British British shows is a bit of Fry and... Lori. What is that? And in a broader sense, Lori. Lori. A bit of Fry and Lori. Yes, that's oh. what I was mentioning on the stream. Oh, well, I didn't hear A bit of Fry funny. and in a broader sense, Lori. I guess it's... Uh, I saw that at some fry. point, Alt F4 Pro, but then he moved his queen, so then it was too late. I did see that. I'm like, man, he already moved Oh, yeah, I noticed that, too. Yeah, I forgot to mention get the it. I did notice I saw the game. it, and then, I, then he moved. Because the knight was pinned by the rook. Yeah, yeah. That's why, yeah. I, I did, forgot to mention I that. I did yeah, see yeah. that, darn. But, um, oh, that's a joke from the show. I, it's been so long since I watched it, Kangaroo. I can't remember. But yeah, Fry and Lori mm -hmm. are so funny in that. Mm -hmm. Hey, Pam. So you want to play another game? Yeah, or, or, let's play okay. another one more. Hey, Pat, serious. All right, I'm starting to blink a little, but mm -hmm, I can I play. Noticed that. I can probably <clears throat> play one more, and then when we start with, um, you can get the cord. Yeah, you know. that's not a big deal. It usually, a blink for quite some time. Yeah, I love Fry and Lori. Thank you, Rock and Jason, for that one cent to do. All right, here we go. Joe, are gonna give me the beat down. Again. Not true. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe. Joe mm -hmm. is pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> I really liked Hugh Laurie's jazz album. I didn't know he had one. Thank Thanks. you, Rock and Jason. Rock and Jason. Yeah. Making it an even hundo <laughs> on those bits. Yeah, Hugh Laurie is multi-talented, that's for sure. Even in-house, he's, like, dancing around a lot. Oh, Hugh Jazz. That's funny, if true. No, no, I think that uh, there's no way MG Weirdo meant it like that, right? Like that, that would be too obscure. Hugh Laurie's Jazz album, and then Kangaroo said Hugh Jazz. Mm. I don't know if that's what it is. There's no way. Thanks, Alt F4 Pro, for gifting that sub to Indo. Mm hmm. Yay. Thank you, Alt F4 Pro. The way you pronounce Joa is so funny. I don't know how to pronounce it, so that's, <laughs> that's the best I can do. Joa. How do you say it? Give us jo a hint. <laughs> I believe that, MG Weirdo, yes. Give me a hint. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's not Rock and Jason. It was already mm -hmm. snapped up by the marsupial himself. Oh yeah, this is how I like to play with black against the, <clears> the <throat> London. The double fianchetto without d5, yes. He plays piano and sings, got a ton of famous jazz musicians to play with him. Yeah, sounds about right. I liked when... uh when Hugh Laurie was on Family Guy. That was pretty funny. He's like, uh, I gotta see if this guy's faking a coma. So he punches him in the face. Yeah. <laughs> then he's like, see, uh, you know, if he's faking a coma, then he would have reacted to the punch. Mm -hmm. Unless, of course, the punch knocked him out, in which case we won't know if he was faking for quite some time. <laughs> 
too funny. Hugh Laurie was also on Friends. Oh yeah, wasn't he? Uh, wasn't he Ross? <laughs> no, no, I don't know. I don't know anything about Friends, but I know he wasn't Ross. Yeah, that you know that pawn always for I always get forked with that stupid e pawn. Stupid e pawn. I know. I always Put fork do. In me. No, I do, like all the time. <clears throat> I guess I'll let the bishop go. We. Yeah, there's so many funny quotes from uh, a bit of Fry and Lori. I can't remember them though, but I remember just laughing like the whole time. Mm. Terrible. He had a cameo on a plane with Jennifer Aniston. Interesting. That must have really made her look bad, I would imagine. No, I guess she's all right. Both sides have two bishops, but only one side has two knights. Oh, I spoke too soon. Nobody has two bishops. Yeah, pawns are terrible. But they are extra pawns. So they're better than, you know... Yeah. Nothing, I guess. Better than nothing. <laughs> True. I mean, how do, you, how do you save this guy? Let's see. Oh, well, Pam did have an interesting idea there. We, we will analyze that, Pam. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Darn, I miss going to karaoke. I don't even know how I can get over there. Probably by a car. <laughs> no, I just, I might need a, like a babysitter or something. Sit on that baby. I mean, you have some compensation, obviously, but I think the time's going to get you. Mm hmm That's probably true. But it's not so easy for black. I mean, certainly it's a win, but... You know, I've messed up easier wins than this, that's for sure, especially in Blitz. Put it in H. Oh, pre move? He's not gonna take it. Just in case. He's not gonna take it. <clears throat> yeah, it seems like a good move. Oh, yeah, that's true. Alt F4 Pro mentions how you didn't drop any pieces when you pre-moved. Only when you did not pre-move. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I have been told that. <clears throat> yeah, I um, uploaded the sub battle today. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I had to watch the part where I beat the guy <laughs> to see. It was over, like, before you guys even had anything to say about it. <laughs> it was kind of funny. Yeah, I didn't even know. Like, what did... Because we had so many technology issues, so it was rather busy. Yeah, definitely. Mm. Yeah, your opponent's pretty tricky, huh? He's a trickster. No wonder mm -hmm. he's always double fee and cuddling. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, I understood Akash was an NM also. I mean, even when I was playing him, it says NM next to his name. But, you know, he just blundered there. It's not, uh, it wasn't, well, he played the opening badly on purpose, of course, but 
he just blundered there on move like 17 18 so it and it was a bad blunder because it it lost two pieces like one of his pieces gets trapped he loses a piece then his other one gets trapped it's a very unfortunate blunder well for him you know it's pretty fortunate for me <laughs> but yeah but you can't disrespect me with h6 g5 it's the one thing the one thing he could learn okay the try. big fork. No, I just saw it. I just forgot <laughs> it. <laughs> out of sight, out of mind. Okay, I'm going to resign. Out of sight. <laughs> Good game. GG, Joe. Uh, yeah, I saw the fork, and then I promptly forgot about it a move later. It was a long time ago. <laughs> so, yeah, when they play D6 so early, mm -hmm. um, probably you should play H3 early. Because otherwise they'll go here, and then you can't play bishop e5, because their pawn will take you. Mm -hmm. Whereas, you know, if they don't play d6, like let's say he goes uh, g6, and then here, that doesn't make sense, because you can play here, because he didn't do this yet. Mm -hmm. I mean, sure, he could play this, but then he played f6, that's ugly, move. And never do that anyway. But when he plays d6 early, you might want to even play h3 here. You know, because, well, okay, no, this, you, you've you stopped it. Yeah, yeah. So this is okay. But then once you're about to play knight f3, you know, now he is, he's threatening here. Mm -hmm. So h3 here might be the move. I remember there was a game, I think it was Sutovsky against, I want to say Caruana, that went like this. It was h3, c5. Yeah, it was interesting. Maybe some early takes actually happened. Mm -hmm. I don't quite remember. They played it a little weird. So yeah, he should always go here. He should always be doing that. <clears throat> All right. Now you're back in theory. You forget your moves too, Mike Hawk. <laughs> that happens to me constantly. There's just yeah. a lot going. It happens to everybody. You a lot going on in your head, and you figure you have all these things. You just forget about it. So now you got to come up with a plan. You went here and then back and then B three. Oh, horrible! Come on. Mm -hmm. You got to make a pawn break. So, to me, it's too obvious what the pawn break should be. Maybe you could find it. Um. You can't play it right now. Spoiler alert. But what's the pawn break you should be aiming for? I would probably go. Um, it seems like maybe B four. That's possible, but that does help him a little That's bit. That's true. It make, opens that up a little. But still, you could arrange before, or even just play it. I mean, I push the e pawn sometimes, but but. Um, He's got you there, right. though. Right. So that's not acceptable in this position. I mean, I didn't really want to open up the d file. Agreed. I, yes. And I don't either. Um. <clears throat> Plus, you've already this has already been broken, so it's not you know. Mm -hmm. You can't make a pawn break on the d file anyway. You could just take if you wanted. A4, A5. Yeah, that's oh, the pawn okay. break like, to go for. Oh, that's better than... Yeah, definitely. Before. Make that pawn break. Okay. Yeah, this oh, yeah, doesn't open this yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. And it I doesn't do... weaken C3 also. Okay. A lot of times your opponents take your C pawn. I do. I <laughs> do get the rook taken a lot. Yes, yes. But <laughs> okay. here, yeah, this is, the, uh, this is the main pawn break that you can go for in the structure. All right. Absolutely. It's easy to remember because they fianchetto their queen bishop. And then you can target with a4, a5. Yeah, that's sort of the main idea here. Yeah, what are you guys saying? They're saying nonsense. Put it in h. Yeah, they play wants to play this and g4, g5. <clears throat> illegally play this. <laughs> this isn't a pawn break. <laughs> a pawn breaks when you attack your opponent's pawn with your pawn. Yeah. So playing that is not a pawn break. No. This is, but I wouldn't recommend it because it's free. Yeah, Ben's streaming later. And actually, let, let me just take this moment to mention that Ben is teaching. Um, an online class tonight that will eventually find its way to YouTube. If mm -hmm. anybody wants to sign up for it. Yeah, it'll be about Smyslov. Feel free to do it. Vasily Smyslov. We can post a link on here at some point. If mm -hmm. There might even be a link already. Can Kangaroo makes one. Oh, there. <laughs> Kangaroo does that sometimes. That's the old class, but if you click that link... It'll still it, get you to the it'll right. It'll still get you to the list, and you'll see the one for tonight. Just pretend instead of 1960 Botvinnik Tall World Championship match, <laughs> it says great players of the past, Vasily Smyslov. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
No, yeah. thank you. Yes, yeah, same way. Okay, so anyway, back to the game. Also, by the way, A4, if you want to play knight C4, A4 stops B5. So even ignoring the pawn break that I want to play, even if you want to go here, should you should play A4, yes. Okay. Because he kicked you. Yeah, I didn't think it through. Yeah, now you have to back it up. Mm. And then uh, he just played solid. Probably I would have pushed more, but... Yeah, this is terrible. Awful. I mean, just begging to get crushed here, <laughs> which is what happened. I mean, you, yeah, you weaken C3 and very anti-positional move. Still, A4 is the move. Okay. B3, I didn't even understand it. But yeah, B4, he's crushing you now. He broke... With your help of B3, now he's breaking the dark squares. Yep. Now, of course, you have to take with the E-pawn, right? But you blundered the fork. Yeah. Yeah, whenever your pieces look like this, they can get forked. Exactly. They got yeah, the same no. color square with one in front of them. Or in between them, mm. rather. Now, uh, Pam wanted to go here attacking the queen. But the, she suggested this after the knight had already moved. So she thought it was attacking the queen. But it's not attacking the queen here. So you don't have that option. You don't really have any tricky option, either. Mm-hmm. No, I didn't, yeah. couldn't find one, yeah. Yeah. Is Spencer a GM? No. He's a national master, though. <laughs> Almost as grand. Yeah. And, yeah, I mean, it's, it was down a piece and not a lot of time either. Pam says no with the knight. Oh, you said bishop, though, Pam. Well, you know. <laughs> Anyways, both knight moves hang the, the knight. Mm -hmm. So that they also can't be... Can't be attempted, really. Way, yeah. Oops. Oh. There it is. Mm -hmm. Now, if you want to take... Uh, if you, No, no, you couldn't, yeah. Your queen was attacked, so you didn't have time to intermezzo this move. So he gets to play rook a8 to x-clam. Now... Yeah. Right. So now he's threatening to fork. Now he could fork here. Mm. But he didn't want to. Seems like it worked. But okay, now he got it this way. So that seems winning too, yeah. Unless you can... Uh, you can't defend this. You, you can't defend the fork. Or you can, you can, yeah. But he could still have this fork, I guess. But then you could do that. I don't know. Seems like he should have forked you, but instead he did this. And then forked you this way. Tough mm -hmm. but fair. Yeah. Thank you, Kangaroo, for updating that. Yeah, more lots of forks. Well, that's true, Pam, but you can't suggest a move that hangs a piece when her move hung a piece. Like, well, why is yours better? You know, She could play any move that hangs a piece, right? Lots of ways for me to hang a piece. <laughs> yeah, he wanted to win the whole rook instead of the exchange, sure, but I could have just stopped him from forking. Then he would have still had to settle for this fork, which might not even work anymore because I could do this. But yeah, anyways, everything wins because he's up a bishop, and it's a good bishop. You would you would blunder that too, me, Pex. <laughs> <laughs> also, he even has an idea like this too, but doesn't mm -hmm. really need to do that. Good game. So anyways, maybe we should get started with some puzzles. Yeah, I agree with that. Um, get it going. Yeah, we're getting puzzles from the Ultimate Chess Puzzle Book by John M's. Mm -hmm. Here I it enjoyed is. our game, Joe. Take a look at it. <laughs> yeah. And we'll, uh, we'll look at some more traditional puzzles than last time we did, you know, where it was finding the wrong move. But we'll just have to find the right move this time. Okay. Oh, I forgot they have a mix. Of those, cause... That was just one chapter, even. Yeah, yeah. I just... These will be from uh, Soviet championships. Missed tactics from Soviet championships. And, you know, Soviet championship, pretty solid players, usually. Mm -hmm. Hey, I'm going to move the light back a little bit. Whatever you need to do. Yep, because I forgot to do that. Also, you might want to get the cord for the mouse. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. 
All right, let me make sure this is right. White should be a piece help up mm -hmm. for three pawns. You didn't get the cord, did you? I did. Oh, you did. Dang. Mm -hmm. Sorry for me. doubting you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now what is it? White to move? White to play and win. In white the game, to White win. played King F2, mm -hmm. which is not correct. Spoiler alert. And eventually they drew. Even though White's a piece up, it's difficult to convert when you only have two pawns and it's three three pawns for a piece. Mm -hmm. Hmm. So let's see, how should he have played to win immediately? Okay, well, let's see if I can find anything. Or maybe don't look at the chat. I'm not looking at the chat. Just, just saying. I was looking at the lighting, but yeah, definitely. Look. Let's try this. I see, be quite bright. See if I can do it. It All looks right. pretty bright. Mm-hmm. Nice. I did it correctly. Mm -hmm. I can tell by the confirmation beeps. <laughs> White to play and win. Yeah, let me see what, what uh, <clears throat> who was uh, playing this game. Oh, this seems, seems easy. This is Khan against Smagin. Smagin. I never knew how to pronounce his name. Mm -hmm. Isn't this one just bishop h3 check? And after rook takes h3 check? Oh. <laughs> Did you see the face I made at the camera? <laughs> that was my Nakamura face. <laughs> Darn, I didn't even see that file was open. That can't be, if I have to look all the way across the board, I just can't see it. <laughs> <laughs> that is a huge handicap. It's a long way for my eye to go. <laughs> all right. There has to be something to that. Though, so. <laughs> I did get sassy there, MG weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to see all the way down there. <laughs> okay, so I go there. Well, so far nobody's got it, so. Let's see, I got another idea. <laughs> <clears throat> so maybe, uh, maybe it's not so easy. No wonder Khan played king f2 and then drew. Mm -hmm. Jad, Nick, I like your style, although the notation was incorrect. And also, you didn't quite finish the variation. Other than that, you're on the right track, though. Oh, Silent Killa must have missed the earlier chat because that move is refuted. <laughs> well, that's a good start, MG Weirdo. Not the most critical variation. Mepex, that's somewhat true, but you sacrificed your rook, then said that they'll lose a rook. So that doesn't win more material. That's, a, that's called a trade. Oh, I know it now. Wait, I was on the right track. I think I was on All right, track. tell me about it. Okay, so let me see if this goes. <laughs> um, okay, so what about rook d8 and check? Black explodes? Then rook takes. Uh, right, rook takes. <laughs> the only <laughs> legal move. Then bishop h3. Mm-hmm. Oh, but then they could block. Mm -hmm. And they don't have to move over. Right. Darn. I still keep trying to make that work. It didn't work. Okay, let me keep looking. It looks like chap did finally get it with some help from Kangaroo. Yeah. Well, give me another second. For All right, you're on the right track. Uh -huh. Definitely. You almost got it. <clears throat> All right. There's only one more nicety you have to understand, actually, in okay. order to solve the puzzle. Poor Khan didn't end up finding it or winning. Tough. Let's see. 
Oh, I'm not sure. Why don't we go ahead and move? I don't want to make people have to wait. I'm just not sure what the final little piece is. Mm -hmm. All right, well, I'll, I'll display the answer then. This is from 1952, mm. this game. White could have won with rook d8 check, rook takes, bishop check, blocks with the rook, only legal move really. I had all that This doesn't time. help, of course. Was That's the last mate. piece of it. After rook takes, black loses the rook. It's discovered check. Unless you go here, getting mated in one. So black loses the rook oh, by yeah. force now. Duh. And then black will uh, have to resign. So that's why this is winning material. Like it's not little, just because it wins the rook here, it wins this rook. Like a little mini windmill. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. Yeah, nice. A little bit. <laughs> it's a mini. Yeah, for example, if he, mm -hmm. if he didn't have his A pawn, this wouldn't be winning more material. He could just play king b8. And if he check, I run away. Mm -hmm. But because of... Uh, the back rank issue combined with this. And as we mentioned in the chat, bishop h3 first is not acceptable. Right. Of course, we take well, with check. Yeah, obviously. Otherwise, it would be mate. Yeah. Yeah. Well, rook h1 doesn't win more material, right? We got to play a forcing move to win material. We'll just trade. Mm -hmm. You're surprised that they didn't see that kangaroo? Yeah, I don't know. Well, I mean, because they were so strong. People miss tactics, you know. What are you gonna do? It is surprising though. Sometimes when you see grandmasters and title players that don't see something that you can see as a lower. That's not really what it's about, though. Yeah. It's about consistency. Mm -hmm. A grandmaster will see that ninety-nine percent of the time, and we right. saw the one time he didn't. Mm -hmm. You That's guys true. in the chat will miss that half the time or more. If it was a blitz game, nobody's playing that combination here. Mm -hmm. you know? I just think we have the mis misconception that. That they can, that they don't, they wouldn't miss easy stuff, but yeah. obviously they do. Yeah, everybody all the time. misses easy stuff. Even yeah. the top 10 in the world will hang me. Just very rarely compared to the average player. Mm -hmm. Missing tactics is your bread and butter, says Scottish Demon Goat. Missing tactics is my middle name. <laughs> that would be what Market Sands would say. <laughs> all right. White to play. How can white's queen and bishop combine to terminate black's resistance? So white to... Yep. Okay. White to play. All right, I'm hearing a noise. Okay. Let's see. White to play. And keep calling me. Mm -hmm. Did I leave my falcon's jacket at the center? How am I supposed to know? Who's that? My friend, Tyler. Mm. Named after the song by the Toadies. Not really, but you know. <laughs> yes, the one move variation. I love it. <laughs> really nice. Yeah, so this is just the combination of several patterns in one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Pretty funny, Scottish Demon Goat. Pretty funny. I think Ben might have just gotten here. It does sound like it. Mm -hmm. He's supposed to come up and prepare for the class tonight. Well, Mepex, your second move there was illegal from Black. And I think that you meant that move. You just didn't see it was illegal. Well, Dancing Tortoise... Um, no, I guess would be the answer to that. Okay, let's see. You can't quite end the variation there... Joa, because he can play king e7. Yeah, 
Yeah, don't go so fast here, you guys. You gotta slow it down. You know, like Fog Hat. And just figure out the legal moves the guy has and punish them. That's all. It's easy to think, okay, it's so winning, I can just win it. But you just have to be a little precise and end the game properly. It's a little precision necessary to clean it up. It is opposite colored bishop, so maybe draw. I'm just kidding. <laughs> hmm, that could be true, Joa. That could be true. Looks true to me. True to form. Yeah, that should win. Absolutely. Should win. It wasn't the answer I found, but it, it also wins, yeah. No, that didn't work. Okay, let me see. Oh, hey, Chesty. We've just been solving a, a couple puzzles. We'll, we'll go on to the the uh, nun, the nun book once we finish up some puzzles. Well, best chess that that variation doesn't really make any sense. Seems like even you hung black's queen. Like if you play queen f6 and e6, your queen is hanging, for example. And also you didn't give like black any moves. <laughs> <laughs> so it's kind of hard to know exactly. Darn. Okay, that didn't work either. Uh... It's white to play here. White to play. Okay, so that's... Looks like MG Weirdo found a, a perfectly cromulent solution. Yes. Well, I don't know about that, Jasper. I mean, it seems like that's not entirely clear or forcing to me. Oh, I see what you're getting at, best chess. I see what you're getting at there. Don't really think that wins, but it's interesting. <laughs> Giving up the material for the pawn that's like two squares away from queening. I don't know, I could play queen a6 check. I can bring my bishop back to defend. Doesn't quite end the game. I can't quite see the end. I mean, I feel like queen, it's got to be queen f6. To start. This looks like the only reasonable check. Right, to start with. Then he's got two legal moves. Right, and he can go king g8 mm -hmm. or king f8. Mm -hmm. Well, you can refute king f8, I believe. Yeah. How's that? Well, I mean, I, I think his best move is king g8. Okay, but oh, king I, f8. Okay. What, what, yeah. um, then I think um, if you go queen h6 maybe you could do better than that but king oh i see kings on f8 um oh yeah because you'd go um yeah queen h8 and then you 
skewer, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so that they wouldn't go there. All right, so you're right. Queen f6 check, king g8 would be played, yes. Mm hmm And then, um, yeah, I wasn't really sure anymore. I couldn't quite figure out how to coordinate the bishop and queen. Because I know you could go queen g5 check, mm -hmm. but then it just seems like um, the king just goes f king f8, mm -hmm. and it can just come on back out of there, king e7, if check again you know if I could queen h6 again and king e7 keep going well I didn't think that was the right move what you're saying um I mean you don't have any other checks right no so you got to look at all your checks till you're, you're done with checks mm -hmm. all right well so right now your queen is on h6 and his yeah, king yeah. is on e7 okay well let's see then then the um because you'd have to go back it up in queen h4. That doesn't seem Well, in that position, helpful. instead of queen h4, you have several checks there. Um, you have at least four checks that don't hang the queen. What if the king is on e7? Yep. And your queen's on h6. Uh, oh, yeah. And I can, can see four back. reasonable checks. Oh, yeah. There. Oh, yes. Yeah, so if I go back, then. Oh, yeah. What if I go back? To just where it is now, d6. <laughs> but Bonarici, queen g5 was check, and queen h4 is not check, so black would just do something else to not and not move the king. Oh, I see now. So then, yeah, yeah, bring it back to queen d6, maybe. And then king e8. Oh, yeah, king e8. Um, maybe I'll see bishop d7 check, but then, because he has to go king d8. Mm -hmm. And then... Probably bishops take c6. Does that work? No, because I have to cover the c8 square. Right, that's a mating pattern that is you should know. Um, and if you don't see mate from there, you need to work on that pattern. I'm just having a hard time visualizing this moves ahead. Right, it's because it, well, that's exactly what I'm saying. If you mm -hmm. don't know that pattern, it's difficult to visualize it. I don't know if I know the pattern or but not. But if you know the pattern... I've lost, track of, where the, I've lost track of where the pieces are. So oh, can bishops you, here? Yeah. They're all lined up. Oh, they're lined up. Okay. Yeah. Um, they're all lined up. Mm -hmm. But yeah, if you don't see the pattern, then we have to show you. Okay. So queen f6 is correct. As Karen pointed out, king f8, it's winning the queen. Mm -hmm. The only other legal move is this. Now, Bonarici wanted this move, which is not check, so I didn't like it. We were talking about this mm -hmm. one, which is correct. It's the only check that doesn't hang the queen yeah. or the bishop. In chat, somebody suggested this and that, followed by e6. Mm -hmm. I mean, you sacked a piece to probably get some promotion ideas, but it takes two moves, and I even get to come out with a check, and then I can step my queen out and harass your king. This probably does not win. You know, you don't really have enough time mm -hmm. to queen there. So let's play king g8, queen g5 check. Now if the king goes over here, it's actually the same mating pattern we'll see. Like this, when the queen, bishop, and king are lined up. Mm -hmm. Check, check, mate. Oh yeah. Common pattern. Yeah, it is common. Hey, Shen, how's it going? So instead of king f uh, h8, now we can play king f8 because there's no queen h8 check. Mm -hmm. Again, this is the only check that doesn't hang the queen yeah and then here again if we go like this it's the same pattern mm -hmm. yeah i've seen that on puzzle rush bench if here wins the queen <clears throat> so the only try is king e7 and now there are two ways to win both of these checks win joa wanted this one because it's the only legal move and then i win your queen easy enough this one is the same mating pattern. Mm -hmm. Has to go here, and the same pattern. Or you might want to be tempted to do this, but you'll notice that this pawn is actually defended, so this doesn't mate here. Yeah. So now you, you're you maybe winning, but okay, you didn't mate immediately or win mm -hmm. the queen. Mm -hmm. So yeah, this is this is the mate. Yeah. So yeah, that's it's all about that pattern. With the queen, bishop, and king. That's what this whole puzzle was about. Oh, okay. Yeah, the pattern of the pattern. I'm just kidding. I got a little bit confused trying to visualize so many moves ahead. 
Yeah, but that's why you, you know the pattern because when you're calculating a variation, mm -hmm. once you see that appear on the board, you know you win. Mm -hmm. Like immediately without calculating because you've already known the pattern. So that's how you do it. Yeah, how's it, how's if I saw that pattern, silver? <laughs> like though in a puzzle rush, I would get it every time. It's just right, but seeing it here, that, that's well, the difficult. Part. Well, combining the task of also having to move several moves in my head. Right. Yeah, that's but that's why harder. we do the puzzle rush because when you're solving, when you're sitting at a chessboard, and you hey. you're you're playing moves, you know your opponent doesn't just let you win. Yeah, definitely. Right. How's it going? Well, sometimes they do. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but a lot of times you'll be calculating a variation, and then at the end you'll find the pattern. Mm -hmm. And that's where it's important, yes. Let's see who played this game. In Puzzle Rush, there's always only one move to win. That's true. This is <laughs> Floor with white, and he did find the right move. Winning the queen makes the opponent suffer, says Jedward. That is true. <laughs> hey, C.L. Smith. Hey, Ken Fine Silver. Yeah, my birthday was nice, C.L. Smith. Ben, um... Organized stuff. Spencer came over. Ben got um, me a cake and food and get, got the kids motivated to get me a present. <laughs> you know the famous game, Spence, that Smyslav B. Karpov? Where he Maybe. He's an isolated D pawn and he sacks him and he crushes him. I didn't realize Smyslav was 50 when he played that game. Don't know about doting, but that was bucks. nice. Uh, <laughs> I know what school Smyslav went to. Old? Man, you're good. At, yeah, chess base 16 works good. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Ben's streaming and tonight. And Stockfish 12? Yep. I don't know if you did that. Uh, yeah, I did. Had to do it. I did, yeah. Yeah. I'm going to refresh this for a second so I can see I how hope it's Smyslav Petrosian because Black's down to HK. This is Black to play and win. Black to play. What time are you streaming at 8? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, Ben's streaming at 8. You didn't talk about my class. We did. Um, we did. We mentioned it only three and or four times so far. Though. No, <laughs> Mubot's got it because Kangaroo. Go Mubot. Kangaroo being the best updated it. This is Ilovitsky, who I never heard of, against Swayton. It's probably why Swayton won. I heard of him. Oh, I've played Swayton and beat him. Yeah? Mm -hmm. That's cool. What nice timing. Yeah. He was Swayton during the game. Oh, you made that up. I, I did beat him. Oh, you really did play I him? Did the oh. part of it. <laughs> okay. He made up the joke, yeah. <laughs> no, I thought he just just did that just so he could do the joke. I understand. <laughs> I understand, yes. Any, okay, any stories about him other than No, he was old. Okay. He had a serious case of old. It says Black has some promising looking attacking moves here. Which oh, yeah, one black. is best? All right, let me look. Now I can't look at Chatty more in case you guys get it. Because you guys are faster than me. Yeah, this is too tough for them. But it's black to move, right? Correct. <laughs> okay. All right, no more looking at chat. All right, let's see. Oh, no given hints, Ben. <laughs> see. Make sure I set it up right. It looks right. Mm -hmm. And the answer looks good. All right, good. Yeah, black to play, all tough four. You got it. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Looks like Chad found the nice looking attacking moves, but one of them is better than the other. Hmm. That's not a good defense, CL Smith. You hung your rook. Who wrote that book? John M. Yeah, I beat him too. <laughs> That's why I asked. Well, he's a British GM though. Right? He was an <laughs> I when I beat him. Oh, even worse. Yeah. That's possible. Doug Stone asks, How was your day, Karen? Or how was your birthday? How was my birthday? Thank you, yeah. Doug, for asking. It was nice. Ben organized all sorts of festivities, including getting Spencer to come over and my they got me a cake and And she ate it too. Food. <laughs> That's nice. All right, now let me see here. I had one idea, but it seems wrong. 
No, no, you're on the right track there, Mepex. You just have to find the correct defense to one of those moves. There are two moves that look really good, but one of them there is a defense. Dr. Chess RX has dropped in. So he said you don't look any older. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Dr. Chess RX. How's it going? Darn, I had the ideas and I can't quite get it to work. Such as? Well, I was looking at was the, taking on G2 with the queen. but It's like what Tall would do. <laughs> it didn't work. Well, and then getting the bishop. A little bishop E4, check. But it, then he gets out. So it didn't even yeah. work. So that didn't work. Any other uh, moves that you know aren't tall approved? <laughs> <laughs> I know I'm still looking. Mm -hmm. oh, some uh, interesting chat there. Mm -hmm. Did people get it already? Well, sort of. Kind of. They're figuring it out. They're getting there. Oh, I could do like Bishop H3. Let me see that. Mm. Bishop H3 also was suggested in the chat, yes. Mm -hmm. Let me see about that. Is Shirov in the chat? Yeah, Shirov's in the you chat. You know who was watching my stream two days ago, Confusing Spencer? Joe Bava? Yeah. Then I watched <laughs> his stream yesterday, and he said, Grandmaster Feingold, you have the energy of ten streamers. <laughs> That's true. Mm-hmm. I like that as the first one. Basically. Bishop H3? Mm-hmm. I don't really understand it, I guess. Um, so if I take it, what is your point? Um, let's see if Rook takes, um, oh, you'll just take back. All right, if you go there and if you take with the G pawn, then you'll play Rook takes. I didn't rook think takes, about that. And then Queen could take on H2. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. Rook takes doesn't work. Rook F7 wins. Rook F7. I don't know, it's yeah. just an idea. Yeah. I'm not sure then. I'm running out of ideas. Well, there are two moves that are like normal attacking moves that yeah. don't hang material. Like the bishop, maybe the bishop, maybe? Where, here? Um, there? No, I was trying to get an attack. Oh, yeah, it was a tell me what square. You said oh. moving the bishop. I don't know where you went. Oh, here? E4. Oh, yeah, bishop E4, right. Yeah. And what else? What other attacking move that doesn't hang material makes a threat? Well, I mean, you can go bishop e3 when he's going to move. You could go... Or trying to mate. If only there was a move that doubled up on the bubble up. Uh, what, like rook e2? Yeah, that would yeah. threaten mate. Okay. So these are the two moves. One of them is better than the other. And it's precisely because of the idea that Grandmaster Feingold showed us. If Bishop e4, he will sacrifice here for a perpetual check, as C.L. Smith predicted. No, C.L. Smith. Yeah, you can't play king e5 because queen h8 wins the queen. All right, so here, I guess we take the pawn, right? I was going to play queen d7, but probably doesn't matter. Yeah, and then here we'll do this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, then if king e5, you skewer. Right. Damn. Oh, yeah. Yeah, pick his Latin for generosity. So he'll have to go back, or he could try this with losing, I assume, yeah, to that. Here, yeah. And then you have to go here. Yeah, good. yeah I mean, you don't do this. Right? Yeah, then queen g5. Oh. Looks like mate. You don't want to provide this much counterplay. <laughs> but yeah, in fact, after queen d8 check, he has to just go back and get perpetual checked, as it were. Mm-hmm. For example, like this, you could go here and then here. Mainly, etc. So that's why it, bishop e4 is inaccurate, and rook e2 is the move. Now we have to defend this. Maybe you could suggest how. 
Because I think there's only one way that makes any sense. Um, we could go um, in queen g5. Only move, right? Mm -hmm. But now we can play bishop e4. And the point is, if you try to sacrifice, your queen won't get the checks. Right, yeah. But we still maybe have to be precise. Just block, yeah. yeah, just block. Yeah, we have to be precise there, but that that should end resistance. I guess we could keep trying, right? Might as well try. Like this. Yeah, we might as well try this. But my queen can help defend, and my rook can help defend. So this is probably not going to work. Oh, well, that's still a little tough, huh? Let's go for king e7. Queen of six is fine. I think king e7. Also good. Yeah. But okay, if you say queen f6, we'll do it. Yeah. Maybe here. F8, no checks. Buenos, no checks. Yep. Truth hurts. Yeah. Buenos, no checks there. So this puzzle was all about which move order is proper. Because both of these moves look crushing. But one of them allows a sacrifice to perpetual the opponent. And so don't allow that. <laughs> yes. Let's see if he gives other other variations that we didn't note. Hey, John John, how's it going? Okay, that was a nice puzzle. That was too hard for me, though. Actually, uh, right, he does go here. And then he says bishop e4 wins, but the guy actually played h6, which also wins. This is safer, right? Because now after here, here, yeah. there's you don't have to calculate anything. After this, this, the queen is over on g3, so it's no check. Mm. And we were calculating ways to avoid check, but he doesn't have to with h6. I like that, h6. Nice, nice little, uh, you know, little nicety there. I like it. Yes. There is a roaming fan in the background, yes. Who is that cutie behind Karen? I'm not too far behind her, you know, just a little bit. A roaming fan? Mm. Like mm. All right, so we did a, a lot of puzzles. Maybe we could do the, the book or... Yeah, let me see what time it is. Maybe we'll end pretty soon, though. I think we have time to do just a little bit of the book. All right. Because, I mean, I was planning on going till 6. There's no, there's no reason it should take a whole hour or, you know, to prepare for a class. All right. Yeah. I'm not preparing anyway. Really. Right, right. That's yeah. what I mean. So, All right. But I yeah. need the uh, the iPad then. Okay. Um, I'm going to scoot it on out. With that Kindle version. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. Of the book. Blindspot says the gawking rabble is bombing the stream. <laughs> that's true. Other things. Ben does make a good background. Mm -hmm. Ben's supposed to overview that guy's performance, laughing face. Just reading some of the chat, but mm. it wasn't. Uh, I think I got almost everything. All right, yeah, let's continue with this nun book, yeah, which definitely. I've really been enjoying. I don't know about you. Mm, I do enjoy it. But I've been loving it. It's pretty challenging. Who's that cutie behind Karen? <laughs> Who's that cutie? Now I have to do the same while Ben streams. <laughs> Stand behind and give analysis? I guess. Movsasian Panera Bread. All right, I don't know who the other guy is. Movsasian has played for more countries than anybody except VC Piano. What about Nidich? I confuse VC Piano and Nidich. Oh, so maybe you meant him? <laughs> maybe. <laughs> yeah, Nidich has played for several countries also. Mm -hmm. Raise your neck. I don't know how to say that. Negriano comment. It was pretty good. Negranu? Negranu, is that how you say it? Let me go back up. Daniel Negranu. Oh, yeah, he plays cards, I guess. And chess? I don't well, see not really. Negranu comment. He tries to play chess. <laughs> he tries his best. Oh, wait. Is the first stop. I was right, then calculated myself to the wrong answer on the Negranu of chess. I assume that's that funny. That's sort of funny, yeah. Don't really understand. The Granu on the river says, oh my god, he got me. Then I call, I lose. That's, <laughs> that's, he, so he calls it right, then he, he has the hit right thing right, then he calls and loses anyway. Classic Negranu, yeah, I that's assume. That's he's known for. Yeah, that is, yeah. <laughs> Who's Frankly ridiculous. Black to play. This section's about central pawns. I'll put in the names. Yeah, I definitely want the names. The, central pawns. The player with white is Movsesian. No. He's the Sergeiest. That's true, except Karyakin. Damn. And then he black is NN. Yeah. 
I mean, not really, but I don't know who he is. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Come on, making up a name here <laughs> for this guy. Russian team championship. Should slow down. Yeah, exactly. All right, in the middle game, a central pawn is generally more effective than a flank pawn. Here, white has an advantage thanks to his extra central pawn. And black's poorly placed a6 knight, which has few active prospects. That's not good in mm -hmm. there. Terrible. This looks like a Grunfeld gone wrong. Well, I kind of wonder. They only traded pawns? Like, anyways. Uh, so he played e takes d4. Black gives up his foothold in the center in hopes that his pressure along the long diagonal will enable him to break up white's pawn duo on e4 and d4. Yeah. Seems like the right attempt to me. All right, so Mosasian's pretty good, so now he starts throwing down some X-clams. X-clam. Some YouTube commenter will find it hilarious. <laughs> they might be right with that. Sacrificing the exchange. Always do that. This is a common idea in the Grunfeld as well. This refutes Black's idea, says none. White intends to keep his central pawns even at the cost of the exchange. If Black takes on a1, he will not only have to cope with the pawns, but in addition, his king side will be exposed. In the game he played c4, a typical line would be bishop takes a1, rook takes c4, a4 x clan. Yeah, looks like white's got everything going here. Even two bishops. G5. I get it, because the knight is... He wants to move his knight in this variation, but he doesn't want to lose it. So he plays G5, ridiculous. Uh, oh, I, I missed a couple moves, that's why. This, this doesn't even make sense, right? Yeah. C4, this is like D6 first. He plays D6 here. Oh, I think A4 should be good too, right? And then A4. And then this. Okay, then all these moves. Here it is, because now it's knight E5. Yeah, now G5 makes a lot more sense, right? For knight E5. Knight C5. Bishop E7, never taking the exchange. With a clear advantage to white. Oh, I mean, even if he wanted, he could have taken the exchange, right? So it just kind of shows you. Because he wants to keep his pawn. And also, these are terrible. And this is a good idea. Because knife f5. Looks like white's just winning to me. If you were black, you wouldn't have taken the rook, Bonarici? He didn't take the rook, right. He never took the on a1. Exactly. After all these moves. Oh, okay. I got confused with this. You were showing an alternate. Right, I said he played c4, but a typical line could be bishop a1 and so forth. Oh, okay, sorry. Yeah. So yeah. c4 instead. I mean... Black hopes to activate his knight this way. Okay. I mean, I would so take that rook. Yeah, I would. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. It's a little risky, but you might as well be up in exchange because it's still kind of bad. Yeah. Queen e3 x clam. Yes. Still keeping the exchange possible for black to take. An excellent response, not only unpinning the f3 knight and thereby threatening knight e5, but also preventing knight c5. Who you just take it? Bishop f3. Black is forced to make this exchange to stop knight e5. But now he faces new problems on the long light diagonal. He's going to push his pawns. b4 dubious black's queenside pawns are far less effective than white's central pawn mass central pawns are better because they're more likely to attack enemy pieces as they advance and because the advance of central pawns often leads to an attack against the enemy king so he played b4 but let's analyze bishop a1 rook a1 never play this but okay it makes sense to get some dark square control Make sure I'm doing the variation right here and not going too fast. 
White's numerous advantages, two bishops, pass d-pawn, knight d4, c6, e6, are worth far more than black's exchange. Yeah, I mean, anybody would take white here. A um, hundred times out of a hundred, pretty much. A hundred times Rick and Morty. Yes, a hundred years Rick and Morty. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, Sprinnels is here. He says he's Mr. Sprinkle Toes. Oh, okay. I remember you played Sprinnels on, that was his chess.com name. Mm -hmm. And then you're like, he what, this guy can't spell sprinkles? Right. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so he played b4. Yeah, he's never taking the exchange. Finally moves it. Queen a4. Sprinkles. What you changed? I am Mrs. Sprinkle Toes, by the way, as he said. Mrs. No, Mr. Sprinkle Toes. Oh, it is Mr. Or it's Mrs. Prinkle Toes. <laughs> <laughs> Did he change his name? Did he change his name? According to him. So it's now Spr why would Sprinkles. Why would <laughs> instead of Sprinkles? I think Sprinkles was taken, so he had to be Sprinkles. Okay. Knight. Knight. Uh, where's the square? D four. It's not even a real word. Oh, it's almost a word. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Knight c5. The knight finally escapes from a6, but it's too late. White's central pawns are ready to advance. Yeah, he'll sack the exchange every move. <laughs> this guy. Dang. Yes, and for the record, this wasn't really hanging, because there's a pin. So now it is kind of hanging, because it's blocked. The bishop's blocked, at least. Black is temporarily an exchange up, but the central pawns give white a winning position. In case you're wondering, why not take here attacking the rook and then take the knight? Black would answer that with a check, thereby saving his knight. Knife f5, hitting the queen. And then he even takes this back. And e6, devastation. Oh, it even says a devastating move. I didn't even notice that. <laughs> Black cannot take since f takes, queen takes, check. Followed oh. by queen. Oh, sorry. Oh, you wanted to match your um, chess.com name. Well, that does make sense then. Uh, I can see that. This leads to forced mate. So he has to, he can't take, he just lets the pawns roll, which is also unacceptable. Mm -hmm. you, know, you can change your chess.com name sometime. That's true. Yeah, I've changed mine. Thank you, G and Benjamin Fungo, for there that gift sub. Your name is Ahmed, right? Queen D2. It's all over. Hitting the queen and threatening to promote. If queen F6, he resigned. If queen F6, rookie 8 check will force the queen through. Crushing, yeah. D7 was nice. Yeah, D7 instead of Fe. This was the main line. Yeah, and then here, right. Good tactic there. Good tactic to end the game. But yeah, these central pawns were too strong, and this is a classic idea in uh, in the Grunfeld defense, which just looks like a Grunfeld, but maybe it wasn't, um, to give up the exchange here and to have the central pawn mass. Basically, black has like a lot of dynamic pressure against the center, and white just gets rid of it all for the price of an exchange. It's like, okay, now you've got nothing, but you won the exchange. And then I have everything that I would have in a Grunfeld. The past deep on the more space. In this case, also two bishops about to else. Yes. Mm -hmm. Can we please play a civil game of chess? No, that's <laughs> impossible. Thank you, GM Benjamin Fangol, for those 99 cent days. We're not going to play uh, chess right this moment, but. We still have one more game to look at. Stay tuned. <laughs> Probably play in a minute. We'll have to see how it works out. Yeah, I think we can just look at this last one example. All right. I think, and then you'll have some time to play. Sure. And then we can go set up the class. Mm -hmm. Yeah, tonight I was thinking, class. I was talking a bit about it because I want to um, go home. I want to leave soon after 6 because I've got to finish mm -hmm. cooking, cooking dinner. Well, so, I can take care of, you know. Um, well, one of the things I want to do before I leave so I actually want to make a quick like checklist. We need to do this for mm -hmm. this, all of our processes here. We just been kind of slack with it. I've done it before, 
But it's nice also if other people come help work too. Right. But also because there's like a lot of little things that can't be forgotten. Yes. I feel like we could benefit. Like starting the screen mm-hmm. capture. Yeah, I mean, there's just a cetera, lot. Et cetera. Uh, so so yeah. then that way. I understand. Yeah. I think we need a checklist for classes because there's a lot of little pieces. Can I make you a plate for dinner? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, I don't even got one with this rando Aww. dude. No? <laughs> <laughs> you would if I was going to see Just you give him a, a plate of sprinkles. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thanks, Jasper. I'm pretty quick with uh, setting up the board. That's true. But that's yeah. why I sometimes do it wrong. <laughs> but I'm trying my best. You know, I'm reading this, looking at that, reading the chat. I got everything going on. It's mm-hmm. tough for me. I have I a saw- lot of excuses. <laughs> <laughs> hey, before we start the next example, I did mm-hmm. see your comment, working class, where you were complaining that um, – Endo Queens, um, this won the sub battle. <laughs> she did. Her team did. But, yes, that's true. Um, she did. You know, but next time we'll have to get them. But our strongest player beat their strongest player. Um, it was me. I beat the guy. That's true. <laughs> that is true. And then so we're the best of the best. <laughs> but just the rest wasn't the rest of the rest. Mm-hmm. That's all. <laughs> Yeah, it was fun. We'll have to do it again. But anyway, okay, so on this example, let's get going. This is Anand against Fiddler. Okay. From 2009. I'll read what Anand has to say. Even a single extra center pawn can confer an advantage, like here, Mm -hmm. although it may be slight. Here the position is close to equality, but white retains an edge thanks to his e-pawn. It's possible that black's queenside pawns would play a significant role in the endgame. But in the middle game, white's central majority is a more important factor. Not only because it offers more influence and space in the center, but also because it could provide the foundation for an attack against Black's slightly weakened king side. This is something that he mentioned in the previous example as well. Often when you're advancing your center pawns, you can uh, attack the opponent's king as well. But if he's advancing, for example, on the queen side, it's not going to be like all of a sudden it's made. Right. (laughs) That's very unlikely. Mm -hmm. Like it's possible. Mm -hmm. But yeah. Yeah, next sub battle, absolutely. It was fun. It was a little chaotic, but we got through it. <laughs> yeah. And real quick, Dr. Chess Rx, we're open um, two days a week now, Wednesdays and Friday nights. And hey, Jay Cheatham. Or Gaff he won. <laughs> to make some improving moves. Always do that. White envisions moving his knight from F3 and starting an attack by pushing his F pawn. Mm. This modest move removes the bishop from attack after a possible knight d4. Once he moves his knight, so he could play f4, knight d4 would attack his bishop. So first he prepares that. Very nice oh, preparatory see. move. Solid preparatory move there. Always play bishop. This is from a book. It's it's Nun, a John Nunn book. It's in the title of the stream, Understanding mm-hmm. Chess Middle Games. Yeah, Comthorts. Roar, says MG Weirdo. <laughs> never played, or always played bishop f1. <laughs> Not never. All right says GM Benjamin Flanco. If white's given time, the combination of knight g4, f4, f5 uh, would generate real kingside threats. So he goes back. Black's, Black's bishop returns to e6, ready to take the knight if it jumps in. The problem is, if white manages to force through f5, f4, f4, f5, the bishop will have to move again costing time f4 and knight d4 question mark a serious error allowing white to play f5 without a fight from a purely visual perspective the knight looks actively placed on d4 but in fact it achieves little there and is unable to join in the defense of the threatened king side so he played knight d4 but instead he should have played like fe8 it's far more purposeful preventing f5 f5 because then we'll play bishop takes and there's a pin. Mm-hmm. Yeah, f5, bishop takes. Thank you, Jim Benjamin Feingold, for that gift sub. Yay, yeah. thank you. So, knight d4 question mark instead, f5, bishop f7. Now, if g takes question mark, this costs the black a piece because of the pin. And if knight takes, then this is hanging. Yay! Thank you, Indo Queen. Choo choo, said Indo. 
<laughs> Thank you for those 100 centuries. So he played bishop back to f7. Knight g4. Gf. This is obviously risky, but black didn't have a better move. White threatened to step up the pressure with queen h6. And then a breakthrough with e5 would be in the air after that. Thanks to the bad position of the knight on d4, black no longer has the possibility of knight e5. Ah, interesting, yes. To swap off the g4 knight. Yeah, in fact, so that's a big problem. Like, he should have anticipated before he played... When the guy plays f4, he wants to play f5. Mm -hmm. And anybody who plays the Sicilian, like I do, often their opponent plays f4, f5, and then you play knight e5. Because your knight's really good there, and they don't have a d-pawn. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Mepex, for those 100 centuries. <laughs> yeah. Scan that is a nice um, emote that uh, you made. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so knight d4, obviously, then when he plays f5 like he did, you can't play knight e5 later, which is a great square for the knight as well. And it would be really nice here to trade off this menacing knight who's har harming the king's side here, or threatening it, at least. Yes. Now, if knight c6 instead... Yay, we got a train going. Thank you for that 199 centuries, Jim Benjamin. Fine go. This is too late. Knight e2, x clan. Check. And knight f4. Black suffers from the terrible weakness of the e6 square. If only he'd never played f6. <laughs> So he played G ticks, which is correct. Thank you, homomorphic, for those birthday wishes. King H8. If King G7. See, this lines up to Fork Town, right? Oh, yeah. But it's defended, mm -hmm. so we just take it. And if he takes here, we want a piece. So he has to try this. E takes F attacks this. Hang your queen every move, that's how you win. <laughs> now everything's threatened on the seventh rank, so let's defend it. Gives white a very, very favorable ending, meaning it's, it's completely winning. Mm -hmm. I mean, everything's weak and terrible. And white's pieces are all amazing. I guess it's not completely winning. It's equal material, at least. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Southern Chris, for those 100 centuries. The train is limping along, but still pumped up by these centuries. Queen F2, X Clam. Good move by Vichy. F takes E, blunder. Losing at once. Black should try Bishop H5. Like this. End of variation. So it's equal material still, but terrible for black, obviously. Or f5, I mean f4, takes queen e5, back up. R white retains a definite advantage in both of these lines, thanks to black's broken king side. Yeah, that's a permanent weakness, the king's safety. Mm -hmm. So it's always going to be a problem. This is one thing I was talking to my student about today, Philip. Yeah. I mentioned that you're, having a weak king is not just bad because you get checkmated, but it's also a tactical liability. You're, if your king gets forked or something gets pinned to the king, that's worse than anything else. Yeah, that's true. So your king being weak is, is a long-term problem. It's not just checkmate. It's, it's weak tactically all the time. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, Effie. Rook takes. He moves his queen. If he wants to be self pinned, we can pile up. Rook F8. And Rook E1 with the broken Alyakin's gun, right? Not quite Alyakin's gun, but. White wins a piece, he says. Yeah, the idea is we'll just take this and take that. Train needs to be pumped up. <laughs> if here you get forked at least, you could probably also win other ways. But okay. I'm not too worried about the train. Yeah, it's on the tracks. 
<laughs> right. <laughs> that's, all, that's all we need. Right. As long as it doesn't get derailed. But that would be nice if you guys want to give. Here comes an important move. B4 X-Clam, undermining the knight. Mm. Very nice. Very nice idea. The poor positioning of the knight on D4 now proves fatal. There's no reasonable uh, uh, there's no reasonable way to avoid its loss. He tries this. Here hitting the queen. Here hitting the queen. But I assume he does Lots oh, no, of queen hitting. Takes this. Yay, thank you, Meepex, for the five hundred nice. cent it is. <laughs> well maybe you can help guide the train. <laughs> Check. Which is a pretty desperate move, hanging everything, right? Mm -hmm. He just takes with the queen, because your queen's hanging anyway. And resigns. If takes with the pawn, I'm assuming it's queen g3 check. Yeah. No, I don't know. This still seems like that wins. <laughs> Maybe it's this? I don't know. It seems like it could still win there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because if you take here, I just trade him, and I'm up a piece. So yeah, he's just desperately trying some random stuff, I think. I think that this still wins, but of course queen takes is so easy, right? Queen takes, there's, you don't calculate anymore. I'm up a whole bishop right now. Just looking at the position, it's a bishop up for white. And we both have stuff hanging, but you have way more. And you're down a piece to start. Mm -hmm. So this is easily resignable. Very nice technique by by Anon to just end the game immediately. And um, so what, I don't, I've lost track of what the lesson is. Is this central pawns? Central pawns, yeah. yeah. Um, and he conferred his central pawn advantage into a, an attack against the king. Even though he only had one extra center pawn, it was still enough to provide this pawn break. So as my takeaway from this, then if I've got central pawns, then I need to launch, go ahead and probably launch an attack. I would say that um, typically if you have a pawn majority, you like to push your pawn majority. Yeah. So here we have four against three, so we should advance the four against three. Okay. It's four pawns on the king side against three. So he's advancing it, yes. And what's nice about that is also it attacks the king. But just like in the previous example, it could create a passed pawn. Mm -hmm. That's what happened with Mosasian's game. He got that passed pawn and crushed that guy. Okay. Yeah. So that's sort of the takeaway. Let's see what people are saying real quick. Karen is queen. <laughs> queen Karen. I don't know about that. <laughs> ben, are you streaming? Yes, Ben is streaming tonight. 8 o'clock. Uh, 8 o'clock after he does the class, which I guess is why you've now reminded people about the class. Yeah, don't forget about that class. Ben says old. You don't want to be like school in July. No 50 class. to new 30. <laughs> I don't know. I don't feel that old. I do. I do want to get in a little bit better shape and try to start running again. Running is fun. It rhymes with fun. I love running. I'm just so busy. Now that you, when you get out of shape, it's a little bit harder to get back in shape. It's great when you're there just to maintain. It's nothing like mm -hmm. going for a run when you're in shape. Mm -hmm. Not so fun when you're not in shape. <laughs> so that's it. That's where I'm at. Not in shape. Wanting to get back in shape. I'm in shape. You know, round is a shape. <laughs> <laughs> I have been uh, doing some lifting, though. Yeah, I want yeah, to get I back. About that. See, I wanted to do some weightlifting, too, but I'm afraid to go to the gym because of COVID. Mm -hmm. But I do have a few dumbbells, so I shouldn't act like I don't have a way to do it. I'm just... Not doing it. Making excuses. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You do a lot of 12-ounce curls. 12-ounce doesn't seem like a lot to me. Um, but I don't really know. I only know pounds. <laughs> maybe it's um, a joke. A oh, curly, f curly fries. <laughs> oh, that's a De Beer ways. I get it. Yes. <laughs> Your arms get a lot from the pints. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, you know, I get some workout that way too, but not a lot. I'm not a big drinker, um, but I will drink a, a brew when I go out. Karen, don't be mean. The men are great guys. Which which men are great guys? 
<laughs> you know, usually men are not great guys. <laughs> Chest studying definitely burns calories. I mean, you, if, if you're trying, you know, very That's hard. Because, you know, your brain works and that costs calories. You know? mm -hmm. You're at the gym right now watching on your cell phone between sets of squats and pull-ups. Man, oh. I had done a squat in a million years. I used to do a lot of, when I went to the gym, I would do a lot of squats, like with the weights where you hold them. Mm -hmm. like, I, I remember <laughs> I did squats like earlier in the year, but then it hurt my back. Oh, yeah. And I was only using my body weight. I didn't even use extra weights. Oh, okay. That's weird. Yeah. Well, it's just because I was so tubby. <laughs> Still a little tubby. <laughs> yeah, maybe she did stretch a little. <laughs> yeah, perhaps. Perhaps. And I miss going to the gym, but I'm, not, I'm definitely not going to go to the gym until the COVID situation's better. Because I did try to keep my back straight, Southern Chris. Maybe my technique wasn't perfect, but I had done squats when I was like younger in my late teens and early 20s. So I had some technique, but maybe it wasn't perfect. Sit on the chair and stand back up. That's a box squat. Interesting. Oh. <laughs> I'm pretty good at sitting, so that half of that would be easy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know I can do a lot at home. I'm just being lazy. Yeah, I, I only, I only, I don't go to the gym, mm -hmm. you know, like a weirdo. No offense to the gym people. But yeah, I just have free weights at home that I use. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, I mean, I like going to the gym, but I haven't been in a while. I want to do, um, try to get my arms back in shape too. Right, no offense to MG weirdo, right? <laughs> Tight hips, maybe, maybe what? Yeah, that's what I was saying. Maybe he needs to stretch a little. Perhaps. You love exercise, <laughs> can sit and watch it for hours. You lost 32 pounds in that's three nice. months. Well, that's that's fabulous. Um, you know, I want to trim down a little myself. Um, oh, you have a gym in your garage. That's nice, MG Weirdo. Yeah, I'm definitely not going to the gym, but mm -hmm. um, I, I have plenty I can do outside of gym. Go running. That's outside. I got a treadmill in my basement. I can run outside. I've got dumbbells. Somehow I just don't ever have the time. <laughs> yes. But um, well, I'm thinking that maybe we won't play here at the end because we chatted a little. Yeah. In spite of maybe the promises, can, you otherwise know, raid somebody. Yeah. Some uh, pretty cool people, I guess. Mm -hmm. Let me up pick out. But, um, yeah, the karaoke, um, yeah, that's got to burn a few calories. Let's yeah. see who we got here. I mean, I don't understand this at all. <laughs> to right, be discussed right. later. <laughs> okay, this person's not doing chat, uh, chess. Chatting, chatting, chess, chess. Maybe you're going to have to show more. <laughs> <laughs> right? Click that show more. There we go. That's some more stuff. All right. I already got my guy picked out. All right. Cool. Yeah. You guys, I've rated this guy before. Love this guy. And he has a good stream. So thank you so much, guys, for participating, showing up, sticking with us even when it's hard, et cetera. Let me Mainly et cetera. Queued up. Think I spelled it right? I did. All right. See you guys, and don't Bye. forget Ben's class in an hour. If you want to, you know, take the class or wait for it to be on YouTube, that's fine too. Then eight o'clock, he'll be streaming. Take it easy. Bye.